have already been convicted though, for DACA related crimes, what happens to them? I think as with most uh, legal pronouncement, it starts as, as of the day that it's are. pronounced. Yeah. Um, it doesn't regard have, previous cases. Yeah, I wonder if they have any Because they would have been contro controlled by the legal requirements of, of that, that time. time. Yeah, 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 definitely. We've got a poll up, uh, we've changed it a bit. We're asking you, the decriminalization of DACA makes you happy, unhappy, I don't care. And of course, 60% saying yes. Uh, with the new one, 29% says they don't care, 11% um, unhappy. Let's look at some of the tweets that you've sent us in that regard. Okay, we don't have any tweets for now, but we'll look at some of them later on. Masaku Komane is at the Constitutional Court this morning. Masaku, um, we saw on our screens jubilation, but tell us what's happening right now. Well, it's more celebrations. Uh, good morning, Teresa. It's more celebrations outside the court. Um, they're very, feeling very, the parties um, to the case are feeling very uh, excited and obviously celebrations and jubilation at um, the judgment that was delivered by the Constitutional Court. I am back again with uh, Jeremy Acton, who is the party, the party leader of um, the Dacha South Africa, the Dacha Party of South Africa. But he was also one of the plaintiffs in this particular matter as well. He's just going to tell us um, how now he is feeling now that um, they have gotten certain victories, and obviously um, the, case, the state has also been asked to pay um, their legal costs and costs that they may have incurred in um, challenging the state's case. Jeremy, thank you so much. For for talking to us and congratulations on your victory. How are you feeling? I mean, like you said earlier, on a long journey. Yes, uh, I'm very pleased that we appealed against the at-home limitation and that privacy has been extended to the person as they move through the public space. It is a new freedom for people and it allows cannabis users to participate in society in a positive way. And uh, it also very importantly puts the medicine which is a very, this is a very medical beneficial plant. It puts the medicine into the hands of the people. And I hope that it will also empower people in the rural areas uh, in terms of growing a, a positive product and being able to provide it to others in some private way where we can actually be a culture and exchange and gift and make sales and trade in this in a such a way that it conforms to privacy. And also, the, the, you know, the judge also did speak about quantity, saying that it was not um, their place to speak on that, that he was trying to respect the principle of separation of powers. What does this mean going forward in terms of uh, the, the victories that you have gotten? But obviously, you still need to be engaging with the state on um, drafting the various legislations that speak to the issue of quantity. Yes. Well, um, when we make cannabis oil to treat cancer, you need a large amount of materials in order to make a small amount of cannabis oil and we are still obviously claiming our right to use of this plant for our health so if people have ailments and they need oil and they need therefore to grow a large amount as long as they are doing it in a private place by arrangement with the people of their culture and as long as they're doing uh, the, using it privately then uh, I believe that the quantities uh, are not limited but let's be reasonable we can we can as a culture in the interim uh, operate within this new judgment. We can respect this law. And also you spoke earlier on about uh, the various demands that you had made to the court um, speaking to issues of wanting uh, people that had been um, they had been uh, arrested by police uh, for the possession of Dacha. What, what, what's the way forward? Well, so many people since the Western Cape High Court judgment have been arrested in their homes as a result of this order, of the, that, of the prohibition. And so, although the judge did, these judges did not dismiss this, this still allows us, for, and all those who were arrested to, and who are imprisoned as a result, to... Um, um, make separate applications in their various high courts to uh, have this possibly uh, uh, their freedom granted as well because they're equal to everyone else and they why should they sit in jail and and be a uh, why why should they have suffered all this time while while people are now more free you see thank you so much jeremy i also have another guest um, she's from the cannabis association of south africa the Ca 
the Cannabis Development Association of um, the, the Cannabis Council. Can you just please tell us um, the judgment today? What does this say now for cannabis as a for medicinal use and also for other uses? It opens up a whole spectrum of recognition of our ancestral roots. Uh, we must bear in mind that Africans have been using cannabis in a sacred way for a long time. Um, furthermore, in terms of its medical developments, filling the healthcare gap which people so desperately need access to, um, history has been made today and um, factually South Africans are not new to fighting for their freedom. Um, this is one step in the right direction. We also aim as the Cannabis Development Council of South Africa to bring leg legitimacy to the industry and to be true to the people in the representation of cannabis um, in terms of development, industry, poverty alleviation and with a big focus on women being that cannabis is the female plant. And additionally when we speak cannabis we speak hemp as well because we are here to restore and reform our industry and economy. My name is Rod. Well, that was scenes as we see it right outside um, the Constitutional Court. I'm just going to step out, out of shot and we're just going to pan quickly to just the scenes of what is happening outside here at the courts. Uh, we're seeing people are beating drums. This Rastafaria community is beating drums and also celebrating. I mean, there were loud cheers when we were inside the court today. And, um, you know, just a very victorious um, time for this community and users of um, Dakar across uh, South Africa, though some saying that they still need um, to sort out some parts of uh, legislation that they feel they weren't too happy with. But back to you in studio, we will be here bringing you more on reactions on today's judgment. Thank you so much there to Masako Komano, who's at the Constitutional Court, mm. a landmark decision yeah. by Deputy Chief Justice uh, Raymond Zondo. will continue to unpack yeah. uh, the impacts as we go along.